The subarctic climate is a climate characterized by long, usually very cold winters, and short, cool to mild summers. It is found on large land masses, away from the moderating effects of an ocean, generally at latitudes from 50 a degree to 70 a degree and polluted to the humid continental climates. These climates represent car paragraph PPEN climate classification DFC, DWC, DFD, and DWD. In very small areas at high altitudes around the Mediterranean basin, Iran, Tajikistan, Turkey, northwestern United States the climate is classified as DSC with a dry summer climate, such as in Seneca, Oregon. Description this type of climate offers some of the most extreme seasonal temperature variations found on the planet. In winter, temperatures can drop to a 40 degree Celsius and in summer, the temperature may exceed 30 degree Celsius. However, the summers are short. No more than three months of the year must have a 24-hour average temperature of at least 10 degree Celsius to fall into this category of climate. With 5 a Euro 7 consecutive months where the average temperature is below freezing, all moisture in the soil and subsoil freezes solidly to depths of many feet. Summer warmth is insufficient to thaw more than a few surface feet, so permafrost prevails under most areas not near the southern boundary of this climate zone. Seasonal thaw penetrates from 2 to 14 feet, depending on latitude, aspect, and type of ground. Some northern areas with subarctic climates located near oceans, have milder winters and no permafrost, and are more suited for farming unless precipitation is excessive. The frost-free season is very short, varying from about 45 to 100 days at most, and a freeze can occur during any month in many areas. Equals precipitation equals, most subarctic climates have very little precipitation, typically no more than 15 inches over an entire year. Away from the coasts, precipitation occurs mostly in the warmer months, while in coastal areas with subarctic climates the heaviest precipitation is usually during the autumn months when the relative warmth of sea vis -a -vis land is greatest. Low precipitation, by the standards of more temperate regions with longer summers and warmer winters, is typically sufficient in view of the very low evapotranspiration to allow a waterlogged terrain in many areas of subarctic climate and to permit snow cover during winter. A notable exception to this pattern is that subarctic climates occurring at high altitudes in otherwise temperate regions have extremely high precipitation due to orographic lift. Mount Washington, with temperatures typical of a subarctic climate, receives an average rain equivalent of 101.91 inches of precipitation per year. Coastal areas of Khabarovsk Krai also have much higher precipitation in summer due to orographic influences in July in some areas, whilst the mountainous Kamkatka Peninsula and Sorkhalin Island are even wetter since orographic moisture is not confined to the warmer months and creates large glaciers in Kamkatka. Labrador, in eastern Canada, is similarly wet throughout the year due to the semi-permanent Icelandic low and can receive up to 1,300 mm of rainfall equivalent per year, creating a snow cover of up to 1.5 meters that does not melt until June. Equals vegetation and land use equals, vegetation in regions with subarctic climates is generally of low diversity, as only hardy species can survive the long winters and make use of the short summers. Trees are mostly limited to conifers as few broadleaf trees are able to survive the very low temperatures in winter. This type of forest is also known as taiga, a term which is sometimes applied to the climate found therein as well. Even though the diversity may be low, numbers are high, and the taiga forest is the largest forest biome on the planet, with most of the forests located in Russia and Canada. The process by which plants become acclimated to cold temperatures is called hardening. Agricultural potential is generally poor, due to the natural infertility of soils and the prevalence of swamps and lakes left by departing ice sheets, and short growing seasons prohibit all but the hardiest of crops. In some areas, ice has scoured rock surfaces bare, entirely stripping off the overburden. Elsewhere rock basins have been formed and stream courses dammed, creating countless lakes. Distribution, the DFC climate, by far the most common subarctic type, is found in the following areas, much of Siberia, the Kamkatka Peninsula, parts of Scotland, 
the northern and central parts of the Kuril Islands and Sorkhalin Island, the western Alps between 1,600 and 2,100 metres, and the eastern Alps between 1,450 and 1,800 metres are Euro France, Switzerland, Germany, Italy and Austria. The centre of Romania. The Tatra Mountains in Poland, above 800 m. The eastern Anatolia, between 1,600 and 2,100 metres are Euro Turkey. The Pyrenees between 1,600 and 2,100 metres a Euro Andorra, France and Spain. The northern half of Scandinavia, most of interior, western and central Alaska, the high Rocky Mountains in Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho and Montana and the White Mountains of New Hampshire, much of Canada from about 53 a Euro 55 a degree N to the tree line, including, southern Labrador, Certain areas within Newfoundland interior and along its northern coast, Quebec, Jama Copyright Sai, Cartier Northern Far Southern Nunavik, Far Northern Ontario, the Northern Prairie Provinces, most of the Yukon, most of the Northwest Territories. In parts of Asia, the Siberian high makes the winters so dry of rainfall equivalent per month, that snow cover is very limited, creating a DWC climate in, much of northern Mongolia, Russia, most of Khabarovsk Krai except the south, southeastern Sorkha Republic, southern Magadan Oblast, northern Amur Oblast, northern Burisha, Zabikalsky Krai, Irkutsk Oblast, China, Tur County and Mo County in Heilongjiang, northern Halongbur in Inner Mongolia, Ganan in Gansu, Honnan, eastern Hainan and eastern Guiluo in Kenai, most of Gatsa and Nawa Autonomous Prefectures in Sichuan, most of Kamdo Prefecture in the Tibet Autonomous Region. Parts of Ladakh and Spiti regions of India. Further north in Siberia, continentality increases so much that winters can be exceptionally severe, averaging below a 38 a degree Celsius, even though the hottest month still averages more than 10 a degree Celsius. This creates DFD and DWD climates. The Southern Hemisphere, which has no large land masses in the upper middle latitudes that can have both the short but well-defined summers and severe winters that characterize this climate, has very few locations with this climate. One example is parts of the snowy mountains in Australia. Should one go polluted or even toward a polar sea, one finds that the warmest month has an average temperature of less than 10 degrees Celsius and the subarctic climate grades into a tundra climate even less suitable for trees. Equal toward or toward a lower altitude, this climate grades into the humid continental climates with longer summers. In a few locations close to a temperate sea, this climate can grade into a short summer version of an oceanic climate, the subpolar oceanic climate, as the sea is approached. In China and Mongolia, as one moves southwestwards or towards lower altitudes, Temperatures increase but precipitation is so low that the subarctic climate grades into a cold semi-arid climate. Charts of selected sites. See also, boreal ecology, boreal forest, plants of continental subarctic climate, car paragraph PPEN climate classification, subantarctic. References